B and D are midpoints on our triangle. So B is the midpoint between A and C, and D is the midpoint between C and E. And we need to find the vector describing the movement from A to E. Now this isn't as bad as it seems, because we do have a lot of information. We know that B is the middle bit between um, A and C. So if this bit here is A, then we know that this bit here is also A. Same is true on the other side. This bit here is B, and that's half of the distance from C to E. So we know that this bit here is also B. So if we want to go from here to here, we can't do it directly. We can do it indirectly by going this way and then back down this way. We start in the same place, we end in the same place. We are going from A to E, which is what the question asks us to do. But it doesn't tell us that we have to do it in the most direct way. We can do it by going this way, the way that we know how to do. So to do that, we go from A to B is A, from B to C is A, from D to C to D is B, and from D to E is B. So we have gone A, and then A, and then B, and then B, or 2A plus 2B.